Hello, and welcome to the weekend edition of the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update. I am Russ. I have two videos of our wonderful president talking to you guys, uh, talking about a lump sum of found money in an unknown account that he wants to try to distribute to the people in the form of a stimulus check. But before we get on with that, let me me fill you in the details. Yesterday, President Trump held a press conference and basically once again teased the people with stimulus checks. He was saying that there is some unspent $300 billion in some account and that the $300 billion is what another CARES Act like stimulus check could cost to, to get out to all the people. In fact, I have a video of our wonderful idiot president saying that. So, if you please indulge me on this one video, although I do get another one, I'll be right back. It's time for the Democrats in Congress to start working across the aisle and put the American people first. Now, we have $300 billion in a, an account that we didn't use, $300 billion, and we are willing to use that I would be willing to release it subject to Congress and use that as stimulus money, and it would go right to the American people. So we have $300 billion sitting in an account that we didn't need because things are going so well with the economy. But it would be a very appropriate thing to release that to the American people, and I am willing to do it. All we need is a sign-off. And then we also got our wonderful president talking about how he don't he doesn't believe that he's going to need to get congressional approval to pass out to basically use the three hundred billion dollars to give out another uh, stimulus check. In fact, I got a video for that one for you guys as well. So if you stick with me. I'll be right back. Okay, please. Uh, thank you, President Trump. Um, if I could first ask you a clarifying question about the three hundred billion, yeah. I, you've ruled out doing that unilaterally. You're going to wait for Congress to repurpose it uh, for stimulus checks. Yeah. What about it? Oh, is that correct? You're, you're, you're waiting for well, Congress. Well, I, I, I mean, there's a theory that I can do it uh, without the approval, but I'd rather get the approval so that we have it. Uh, but there's a theory I could take the three hundred billion. It's money that we have, uh, money that we built up and money that we haven't spent, and I would love to give it to the American people as a very powerful stimulus. So, yeah, I, I think there is a theory that I could do it without having to go back, but I think it would be appropriate to go back, and I would ask Congress to approve it. It's a very simple approval. It's a, Literally, it's a one-sentence approval, and uh, the Democrats should do that. The Republicans will do that. They'd be glad to do that. So we'll see whether or not they do it. And to say the truth, there, the, f the f funny thing is, is there hasn't been any clarification on basically where this money is. It, it just says just some random account. Well, okay, what do random accounts usually go for? I mean, is it something that was put there that were for was forgotten about, or is it for some other greater need, or do you think he will actually give out a stimulus check to the people like he said in the two videos? I mean, he basically says uh, that give this out is what the Republicans will, will have wanted all along. And, as you know, he also went off on the Democrats how they, they might approve this idea or not. But basically what we think really is, is his, it's his way to boost his and the Republicans' popularity for the upcoming election. Because we've noticed how the Republicans are not really... Not all the Republicans, should I say, just Mitch McConnell, which is the leader of the House of Se the, the Senate, uh, how he's been missing in action since, well, actually for over a month now. And it's not because of his, uh, his nice little paid vacation he's on. He's been missing in action since the first recess they had back in July. Um, he came in, did a $500 billion skinny bill, as it's called, and I informed you what was inside that one yesterday. And then he has been vacant and disappeared this whole single time since then. And let's see here. Turn, let me turn the page, see if I got any good information for you. 
Yeah, we're just, like I said, we're thinking about he's actually going to start. If, if he's going to be able to get this $300 billion out to the people in the form of stimulus checks, um, he's probably going to do that like a week or two before the elections to try to solidify his place in the polls. Because you know how he's out there and he's talking a bunch of trash about Joe Biden and anyone else he runs against them. And he's basically sitting on his butt doing nothing, just like the rest of the Senate is. And as we also notice, I also think Nancy Pelosi, I think she's not a Democrat. I think she's more of a Republican because she keeps talking about how the they're not going to pass the, the $1.5 trillion bill by the Senate because it's, oh wait, not the $1.5 billion bill, it's the half a billion dollar, half a trillion dollar uh, bill because it does not include everything that the American people need. I mean, yeah, I grant you it does not include a stimulus check. But it does include it has unemployment. It includes paycheck protection money for small businesses and those who are self-employed to help them out, as well as let me if I can find it in my notes. I know it has a lot of other stuff inside it. Yeah, here we go. Paycheck protection money for uh, small businesses and self-employed businesses for uh, money for schools, money for unemployment benefits. Money for COVID nineteen testing and money for child care. They don't think the Democrats are going to pu- pass that bill because they say that the Democrats say that is not good enough for the American people. But yet, we still have Nancy Pelosi out there that could have passed the USPS bill or AKA the Delivering for America bill by adding in unemployment and stimulus checks in that one instead of ma- leaving it as a standalone bill what she did. She left it as a standalone bill just for the USPS only for $25 billion. And she left the American people out of it altogether. And Nancy Pelosi has also proven that she's a liar because she basically said that uh, she would not pass any standalone bills. And what she do? She won exa- against what she said and she passed a standalone bill by herself. And then people keep going off on the fact that she went into a hair salon during COVID-19 restrictions in San Francisco. And basically she's trying to say how that she was a setup. The owner of the company is saying that how it wasn't a setup. And she Nancy Pelosi wants the owner to apologize to her. So basically a woman that says that she cares about the America's health, America's people going into a hair salon during COVID-19 restrictions and not wearing a mask. So that she is not does not care about the American people either. We need to basically get people like this out of office and put people into office that do care about the American people. So America can actually start to grow and flourish again. And they said this is and always will be the people's stimulus check and stimulus package update. It is September fifth. Yep, fifth. Sorry, I like my little calendar right down here. <laughs> it is September fifth, two thousand twenty. So hope you guys have a fabulous Saturday and as I get more information that is relevant to you, I will be more than happy to pass it on. And for those people out there that are actually looking for that piece of paperwork to fill out for eviction protection, I'm going to try to find it for you guys and if I can, I will add a link into my video or into my description so you can get access it easier. So until then, you guys have a spectacular Saturday and I will broadcast again to you tomorrow on Sunday. And remember to be safe out there, try to put food in your stomachs, and stay out of this harsh weather because it is blistering hot outside. And we don't need people to be uh, going down because of dehydration. So please be safe out there. Bye.